So just for fun, we will start here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 39, a New Start. In today's episode, we updated our Dimensions Tracker for the float piece that we've been working with. In particular, we added something called the Sparkle Line, which you just heard um, our Sparkle Test score. It's a glockenspiel. And it's uh, fast and very fast notes. And we added a line called the sparkle line. So what that did for us is in our dimension tracker up here, um, the things that are in orange we have updated today. Um, we have added another timbre. We have also, by adding a sparkle line, added another part. And we have added something called an overlay, which we're going to show you next. Now, we already had modes and we already had parts and we uh, we sort of already had rhythms and now we're kind of double counting the rhythm so we're up to six dimensions which really brings the question what counts as a dimension is it all have to be within one app like having six lines here we only have five quote unquote only um, so what we did is we took the uh, this piece here and uh, started here And then we deliberately overlaid it so that it gets an echo, a double echo. And not only that, uh, that was the left and the right. We also ran, ran, uh, ran it through our special effects filter where we have the high pass filter for upper and we have the low pass filter for lower. And so now we're having. There's the upper part and the lower part. So we did that and we exported all the files uh, down into Reaper and then that let us work with them in the magic animation which is over here and this now is using the left right upper lower files so we updated um, the quadra we made a quadraphonic audio reaper files and a quadraphonic animation so what we're going to do now is play this animation for you because it's different how is it different well as we just said it's got those quad files but we also have this entire sparkle line added and the way we decided to add the sparkle line was to reinforce it, it ended up that it turned out looking pretty logical we added an introdu introductory four bars then we let the alpha comforting begin and then the arc beta comforting is where we threw in a slow sparkle and then uh, Gamma disturbing comes along for a while, and then delta disturbing comes along, and it gets a, it gets a fast. So what do you mean by fast? I mean fast is, this is, uh, this is fast, and this is quote unquote slow. In other words, fast is twice the speed. So anyway, then we reiterated that. So when we had a, a reprise of beta comforting, we reprised the sparkle beta slow. And when we reprise the, the uh, delta, we reprise the fast. So those have been added into the sound files and the animation now uh, is driven by MP3s that have the sparkle sound in the background. We have another animation that we could work on which we didn't get to today, but if you remember, the first version of our animation in Float looked like this. Uh, this one. I get so enthusiastic here. 
not this one. Oh, overlay, oh, this one. So you see, this is an on top of each other circles, and we're calling this the lotus. And what we'd like to do, idea for next time, is come back and put a, another petal in the middle that, that represents the the glockenspiel. That's not what we did with this one. With this one, we used the, um, we separated them and stopped overlaying them on each other. And now they each represent a different, um, spatial position left right upper lower so that's the difference there um so let's go ahead and play that for you here So that ends today's stream. We can certainly say that this is an eye-catching animation. Um, and we do like uh, that it's much more visible to see the, the triangle shape and, and all the shapes. So you can now see that something's going on with those shapes. And so we perhaps have overdone it or uh, we'll find out. Uh, we also really like coming up with this kind of neat checklist. Did we do that yet or not? And we could see ourselves doing this for poise, the other piece that we're working on. So our ideas for next time are to add a sparkle center to the over uh, the, the lotus animation. Uh, what we we'll call the lotus animation. Uh, check the remaining hooks. We still have some other melodic hooks to use, and this is this one would be for uh, for poise composition. And then, kind of a generic thing is that we have something called animated squiggles in a box that um, would make it easier for people to track changes that are going on where the image is jumping in sync with the music. And then we were thinking, well, gee, as long as we're tracking things like uh, modes and meters and timbers in the MuseScore app, why, what kind, what would be an animation dimension tracker in the in in the Magic uh, app? And, and we took a first pass here. So, thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. A shout out to Mr. Spatz, who stopped by again do come back. We do look forward to seeing you in the next episode and take care and keep on streaming.